Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. I said about two years ago, um, my wife, she ain't make me, but, you know, I accompanied her to a pride parade. My wife is a tattoo artist, and a lot of her clients are a part of the LGBTQRS. I don't know the acronyms or the letters, but y'all know what I'm talking about, man. The, the community, the, the LGBTQ community. Like I said, my wife, she a tattoo artist, so she come across them a lot on her clients and stuff. So, you know, my wife want to show her support, and she's an ally to these groups. So, big shout out to her. Big shout out to my wife, man. She dope. Um... And that's how we raise our kids, too, to, tr to treat everybody fair and equal and all that stuff. And, you know, just human nature, the golden rule, treat others how you want to be treated, no matter what race, creed, or religion they are. You know, so big shout out to them and, and us for raising our kids the right way. But um, we took, a, it's like a big festival they had downtown, and we went to it. We took our kids to it, and um, it, it was it's pretty cool. It was dope. It was nice. Um, Wasn't nothing going on out there, no quote unquote weird stuff no you know just big family gatherings right and my kids seen a lot of their uh, friends to go to their schools out there with their parents um i seen some teachers from of my um some of my children some of their teachers that was with their wife and kids too as an ally also you know being out there you know it was just good old wholesome fun and i tell you like as a straight male you know that wasn't nothing out there that's it was, it was crazy you know and um them people they ain't, they ain't trying to harm nobody yo I, don't, I keep saying them people like that's how the white people talk about black people them people you know what I mean though man them people ain't out to get you and they ain't out to harm nobody um they're pretty dope man it's pretty cool out there and like I said we, we raising our kids that way that everybody cool and everybody you know you Gotta watch out for bad guys or people and all this stuff. But you know what I mean, yo. Everybody's straight. You know, and everybody ain't straight. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean, though, man. Just live your life and treat everybody good. So, like I said, I'm, we allies. That's how I learned that term. We allies. So um, I'm out there and I see we see some some characters, man, out there. It's pretty cool, man. It's me and my little ally shirt. I'm out there. I seen somebody with a damn a head of a. We call this a radio, not a damn. I said radio, a TV or c computer monitor. That's pretty dope. I seen that. I don't know what the hell Benjamin Franklin and his wife doing out there, but I see. I just, oh look, I see y'all trying to buy me. I'm out there making jokes and stuff, you know, like I'm a, um like a slave owner, whatever they doing. I don't know what these people was, man, but everything was cool, man. It's like good old wholesome fun. And like I said, my child, my children seen some of their friends out there. And some of their parents and all this stuff. And we was like, okay. Oh, they raised in a, that type of home. Oh, they raised in that. Oh, okay. I mean, we're seeing these stuff. Like, could these kids go to our children's school? But, um, like I said, they had nice everything out there. Everything was cool. It was beautiful. Only thing I was kind of scared of is um, somebody coming to attack them people out there. You know? Um, what's that? The Post Nightclub down in Orlando. And I was thinking about stuff like that, like, man, worrying about somebody going to come and try to stop their fun, man, because they had a big old festival downtown. And it was like, it wasn't a parade. It was like just a, a a square footage, and they all came in that middle of that square footage, and they did their thing, man. They celebrated and enjoyed their own life and whatever. Big shout out to them, you know? Like I said, I was scared, though, being out there like, like man, I hope nobody don't do shit, man, because, you know? They be messed up because there's a lot of children out there, man. You know, a lot of people, a lot of parents, a lot of children. It wasn't no nothing weird going on out there and all that. That's what they say. They say weird. They ain't my words, but y'all know what I mean. But I say it was some weird shit going on out there. Man. And people are subject to be scared of some of this shit when they hear it from other places and stuff. But like I said, there wasn't nothing weird going on out there. When, you know, it, was, it wasn't straight, but... <laughs> But you know what I mean. So everything was cool. But like I said, the only thing that did scare me out there was the the thought of somebody coming to shoot up some shit because they out there doing that. But I got hungry, right? And it's it's all kind of food trucks out there and venue venue venues out there to, to get food and stuff out there. And 
I wound up getting a damn hot dog. That was crazy. I wound up getting the glizzy. I don't know why. I didn't even think about that. It was just, I wanted a hot dog. And I met the damn, the Pride Festival eating a damn hot dog. And I didn't realize until I was like halfway done with it. And my wife was like, you enjoying that hot dog, ain't you? I'm like, yeah, this shit good. And I thought about it. I said, hold on. I'm at the damn gay parade eating a damn hot dog. And this is my face when she caught me. <coughs> Eat the damn hot dog, man. I was like, yo, this is wow. Yo, no, you didn't catch me like this. This dude got a moonroof back there. I'm looking like, yo. I said, take a picture of me again doing this shit, yo. I had to make fun of it then, yo, because this shit was crazy. And it didn't dawn on me until I was like, I was halfway done. I was like, yo, I just ate this whole hot dog. Damn, they all love it. Smash this shit. I just, I'm thinking like, yo, who the hell was looking at me eat this motherfucking hot dog? Who was watching me, man? Because I might have made somebody day. I'm looking like, oh, man, it's, it's time to go, man. I got to get up out of here. I ate a whole glizzy at the damn parade, man. I'm talking about, this is, this is when she caught me. And I'm sitting there like, ah! <laughs> I was caught, man. I was caught. But it was all in fun, though. But I did not know. Like, I, I wouldn't, I didn't order that. To, and they had all kind of other stuff out there. You know, they had all kind of other food out there. It was just, I'm used to being, to, going to baseball games and stuff and being outside. And it was the fresh air. And, you know, you'd be at the ballpark. And you'd say, let me get a hot dog, hot dogs, hot dogs, peanuts, you know, cracker jacks, whatever. But it was something about the atmosphere. And it felt like, I'm outside. It's just, I'm, like, it's a hot dog stand. You, you know, if you're in the city, stuff like that, and, you see a hot dog stand, get a hot dog, you know it's good. You know, I ain't want to get no teriyaki nothing or no elephant ears. They had all kind of stuff. They had all massive food trucks out there. They had all kind of stuff, but I ain't want nothing all sloppy and stuff. And I wanted them getting a damn hot dog, man. And I'm sitting there like, who the hell watching me eat this hot dog? Who didn't watch me eat this hot dog, man? I didn't ate it already. It's go. It's go. It's like, man. I just wanted to share this story with y'all, man, because I thought it was funny uh, to me. It was funny to me and my wife, man, but, and I also want to tell y'all that, I, I don't know, I ain't got to convince nobody to be nothing or try nothing, but just be an ally, you know? Just help them out if you can, yo, that's what I'm saying, yo, because I'm saying I, I learned a lot, not from um that situation, but I just learned a lot being on my wife. My wife, she always, you know, a good, a good soul, good hearted person, shit like that. So, and because I grew up like, oh, get them, you know, basically, you know, being a black male, you know, playing sports and stuff like that. You see people that ain't like you, you lash out at them or whatever. But being older and grown and have children and stuff and being grown and, and, and knowing that they ain't out to get you and they ain't out there, like, they ain't studying you, man. You ain't sexy, nigga. Get your ass move they don't want you so that's what a lot of people think oh i think they looking at me they think they looking at me but um they ain't man they out there minding their own fucking business raising their kids and they got families yo because i seen them i seen them all out there maybe six seven i don't know i don't know how many people's out there man it's a lot of damn people out there man a lot of people look at this you can see it they sit down they watching live performances it's talking about like it was a nice scene, man. Downtown Gainesville, Florida, man. So big shout out to them, yo, everybody who did that. The Pride Festival. Um, I think this, this is a couple years ago because we didn't go to it last year. I think they started doing all these rules and stuff and about drag queens um, reading to children and shit like that. Like everything getting crazy, mixed up now. I ain't here to fight nobody fight. I'm just I'm just chilling, man. Tell y'all that um, I ate a hot dog at the Pride Parade. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, man, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Talking about stuff just like this, man. Come through and holler at me. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. Tell me how you feel about this. And holler at your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news in the glizzy. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back 
and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there. <laughs>